Greetings friends, it's Monday and Monday is a very good day because thank you very much to Steve from the Isle of Wight who sent a ge very generous donation of £25 uh, to buy Monster Bearing number 2. So let's crack it open, so thank you Steve very much. Of course, I'm hoping it's exactly the same size because it was the same bearing from the same supplier. Wow, look at that. Stunning. Stunning indeed. Now I need to go find my calipers. Uh, before we go outside, just notice that one says F210. And as a point of interest, the last bearing I received didn't have one of these. And another point of interest, which I mention now, uh, which isn't as much of a big deal as it was before, potentially you could use that screw hole to fix the uh, outer race of the bearing to stop it doing that thing where it flexes. Oh, that feels well solid. Right, anyway, let's just go outside. I'm going to find my calipers and I just want to measure the distance between the two holes, which I may not be able to do. Right, hang on. I don't know if you can see, it says F210, so I'm sure in business. I'll just use my calipers. I'll just use my calipers to measure, uh, to take a comparing measurement and the inside of those two bolts, which has ended up like that. So we'll just go inside and compare that. Uh, with regards to getting it installed, that isn't going to be today uh, because I need my son to come around and uh, help take the motor out and lift the frame off uh, before obviously we can fit the second bearing, which will go down here somewhere. Uh, I'll mention this now in case I didn't. There's 11 inches clearance on the tower. So from the top of this bearing, to the bottom of the, the bottom bearing needs to be no more than 11 inches. Uh, you'll see how that one's fitted with regards to what way up it is and the other one will probably be inverted. So this bit will be on the inside of the top and the bottom. Hope that makes sense. Uh, one further thing that we will have shenanigans with regards to the fact that the tower pipe is slightly smaller than the bearing. Uh, but we've mentioned that before and that won't be a problem. One last thing you'll notice, I'll be using these joiners and I may end up welding them to each other so they'll be a bit welded from the left to the right and the same on the other four bits. Cheers. I'm just showing you this camera angle uh, because there'll need to be some kind of... What I really want is, even though it won't look great, is an arm, some kind of piece of metal coming from the bottom bearing all the way to the back of the machine because the further back it is, the more weight it can handle. But you can see from a front view, it doesn't stick out, the motor doesn't stick out the side, is what I'm saying. So there's nothing to theoretically impede what we're gonna do. Sweet. So let's measure the inside of those holes. Mm. Slightly different because I think actually I'm using M12 bolts and these are probably 14 holes. Let's have a look. 16 holes so yeah i'm sure it's fine because the other one said f210 yeah that's 50. what i'm going to do is i'm going to scribble down the basically the idea so i'm not going to use a ruler or anything so first we've got the top bearing which is already installed which is kind of like that uh, I will get a ruler. So the deal is at the moment that bearing is taking the whole stress of the situation. Uh, I'm going to draw the uh, what is effectively the tower pipe there so that the tower is there so the second bearing oh dear i've gone a bit square there the second bearing is going to go there and they're going to be bolted together that is the primary idea 
they'll be bolted together. Uh, you've got the existing bolt coming down there. You've got the joiners there. Uh, so simply a fact of getting some more threaded bar, uh, which I've ordered, and just bolting it all in properly. There's obviously a nut there, a nut there, there's a nut on there, this is a top. So that's that. What I may do is I may weld strips across there, and then if I have to take it apart, I can just cut the strips that are holding those together. That'll be the same for each face, each four sides. And with regards to the overall, what it will look like from a distance then, we've got the top bearing there, the tower pipe, the bottom bearing. And then the idea is they'll have something fixed to here on the bottom and an arm that goes all the way along and connects somewhere to the back of the frame. Let's see, that's the frame. Don't forget it's at a slight angle. Uh, so that's the basic idea. Uh, if you look at the bearing from the top, then it would have a strip, it'll have a strip of metal to the back. What, what I can do is actually I'll make a strip of metal about that big and I'll drill holes in it so that we don't have to attempt welding and from these the support bars will be connected and there has to be one either side and it has to clear all the motor and, and the other shenanigans which it, it can do. So we've got 11 inches from the very top to the very bottom, and there'll be so the top one's in that way, and the bottom one is in that way. Uh, this one's a little bit skew with again, these bearings don't have to be perfectly identical to work properly. And then, what we'll likely have to do there's a, there's a few ways to stop it falling down the tower without knackering anything, and one of them is just to weld uh, something on either side uh, 11 inches down so that that bit will just effectively sit on it this will just sit on the and with regards to oh what's the other thing brain fog with regards to oh it's gone with regards to give me a sec yes yeah, sorry with regards to the fact that this is slightly wider than the tower we just literally need a couple of wedges on either side or just one situate the same on both things uh, so they're in line so it takes up that little bit of uh, I'm not bothered about the there's one mill that's got to be accounted for over the whole circumference it's just it can be a tiny it's only going to be one mill out the way uh, so yeah the bearing works nice it's lovely it is thanks again Steve so that will be that I've got the stuff coming from the other donation which I'll thank the guy when that turns up but Hopefully that came across on camera what I'm going to do and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.